Hey viewers, I'm back, sort of. So I finally got my computer back yesterday. The amazing guys at our computer center worked on installing my updates for two whole business days. Many thanks to them. And I'm finally back, so I am trying to catch up on all the videos that I missed. I'm working on it. Working on it. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I got my computer back, so I should be on more often not as often as I was for you know before because now I'm at school and I have a really hectic schedule so that this is not an entirely useless vlog type video I want to talk about this book Mountains Beyond Mountains by Tracy Kidder I had to read this book over the summer I'm a teaching assistant this semester which means that I sit in on a freshman colloquium, all freshmen have to take a colloquium here, and all freshmen had to read this book as a common reading, and last year my common reading for my freshman year was Prodigal Summer by Barbara Kingsolver. Great, great book. I might talk about that one sometime, I don't have it with me though. But anyway, this was the common reading this summer. This is a book about Dr. Paul Farmer who was working in Haiti trying to cure the world, but mostly, you know, he was stationed over there most of the time, um, trying to find cures for tuberculosis and AIDS. When we had our discussion, all of the TAs together, we had our discussion of this book. And most of the TAs said if they met Paul Farmer, they would punch him in the face. Now, I know one of my subscribers has read this book because he mentioned it to me, so he needs to comment on this. Um, but if you have read this book, please comment. What the heck do you think about this guy, about Paul Farmer? Do you think he's a saint? There's a circle of selflessness, and that is, there's a, there's a line. It's, it's linear, in a sense. This is selfless this is selfish and you can fall somewhere on that scope but when you think about it it's really a circle okay because if you start here and you're being selfless there is a point where you are so selfless that you become selfish and they're right next to each other because there are many times in the book where Paul Farmer says things like, and I wish I had tried to find the page before I started this so I could give you the exact page, um, but this is going to be me paraphrasing, um, where he says to his friend, no, 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 I'm sorry, it, he said it to Kidder. Kidder followed this guy around for like a year, or I don't even know how long, I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to that. Followed Paul Farmer around took so many notes on details of his life and what happened it's just miraculous how much is contained in this book and so at one point they went to uh, Cuba and there was this really warm wonderful reception for Farmer so Paul Farmer asks Kidder um, you know why why do you think I get this warm reception everywhere I go. Why do you think all these people love me so much? And Kidder said something to the effect of, well, it's probably because, you know, you really like their healthcare system here and you're really supportive of their healthcare system and they're excited to have you here because you're a big part of what they're trying to do and they're excited about that. And Farmer basically got angry at Kidder and said, I think it's because I help people. I think it's because I help people in Haiti. That's why everyone loves me. Because I go to Russia and I get the same warm welcome. I get this warm welcome wherever I go and I hate the Russian healthcare system and I don't agree with what they have to say and they love me there so I think it's because I help people in Haiti. And it's like there are a lot of instances where Kidder portrays Farmer as such a jerk. It's ridiculous. But it's like, 
a guy that does things as great as Farmer did, like, he can afford to be a jerk a little bit at a time. Honestly, for me, reading those parts, it was just like, this guy's so funny. Because it's like, to me, it seems like Paul Farmer is one of those guys that he's just so passionate about his views on healthcare that he, he just doesn't understand why no one else gets it. He doesn't understand why people don't think the same as him. And he just thinks that everyone should automatically know it. And if, if it's not automatic and he has to like tell people like, this is what you should be doing. It gets to those points, he just gets angry. And instead of being like, that Paul Farmer is a huge jerk, I just laugh. I think it's so funny. He actually reminds me of one of my professors in that sense that like they're so passionate and they just they want everyone to share that passion and they just get so angry that it's funny, you know? Do you know people like that? I know people like that. But this is a fantastic book. And Tracy Kidder is coming here to my school to talk about this book. I am so excited. So excited. And I randomly met a Buddhist man yesterday because my boyfriend and I were outside. We had just gotten back from McDonald's. We parked the car. We we're walking into the dorm. This guy stops us and he's like, excuse me, I'm here on a visit with my son. And I just wanted to know what made you guys want to come here and why do you like it? So we started talking to him and uh, my boyfriend mentioned how he's going on a trip uh, with the school biomes of the world and they're going to all the different biomes of the world in 12 weeks and he happened to mention that they were going to Bhutan and the guy was like oh yeah I know Bhutan I'm Buddhist and then uh, later on he asked me if I was going on a study abroad and I told him I'm applying for the England trip and I'm really excited and you know I want to see the Wayland Smithy and Stonehenge and we're going to be in York and he's like oh York is such a great city I love it and then uh, you know, I mentioned Stonehenge and I was like yeah and I'm gonna I'm gonna be there over Beltane and I'm really excited because I want to go somewhere and like see a parade or something like that and I was wearing a pentacle at the time it was yesterday so the pentacle I was wearing in my Tuesday pagan perspective video this week it's a big one and the guy was like oh are you Wiccan and I was like yeah and he's like that's awesome and then uh, when he left, long story short, when he left, um, oh, anyway, we were standing next to a poster that advertised that advertised that Kidder was coming, and this man, well, he looked at the poster and he was like, "Did you guys read this book?" And I said, "I did," because I'm a teaching assistant. I had to read it with the freshman class. He's like, "Did you like it?" I said, "Yeah, I love it. I can't wait to meet this guy." And he goes, "I went to school with that guy. He was my classmate." And I was like, "No way!" I like freaked out. I cannot wait to meet Tracy Kidder. But anyway, this guy was so cool. This Buddhist guy, since I'm talking about him now, he left. He was like, all right, I have to get back to my son. We brought him up to see my boyfriend's dorm because he wanted to know what the dorms looked like. And uh, he's getting ready to leave. Oh, and it was also brought up during the conversation that this guy's son really likes the Red Sox because my boyfriend was wearing a Red Sox hat. He's a huge fan. He's from Massachusetts. Um... So this guy was getting ready to leave, and he turns to me, and he does one of these bows with his hands like this, and he, he looks at me and he goes, may the force be with you, and I just cracked up, and then he turns to my boyfriend, and he goes, he goes like this, he's like, may the Red Sox win, and walks away, and I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's so cool, and then we saw him again today at lunch, and he was like, it was great, but yeah, um, Mountains Beyond Mountains, Tracy Kidder's coming here. I cannot wait to meet him and hear what he has to say about this. If you have read this book, talk to me about it. It's awesome. Okay. Now, I think I'm done. I'm just going to go now. But I wanted to say hi to you guys, say that I'm back, and give you a little, a little something something. So I will see you guys next time. Until then, blessed be. It's like if you're here, it's because you freaking love it here.